it's beanie weather again. Before we jump into today's video, I want to let you guys know I have a new book out as of today when this video goes live. Uh, it is the first book under my new pen name. The title of the story is Uncle Boobs. Uh, it is about, it's a Halloween story, Halloween themed story, uh, about a clown with killer tits. Literally. Uh, it's $2.99 for Kindle. There is no physical copy yet. I didn't have enough time to get one created. Um, but you can pick up the ebook copy for $2.99 on Kindle, or you can read it for free through Kindle Unlimited. Uh, the links will be down there in the doobly-doo. I'll link you to the US, UK, and Canada. If you'd like me to link you other places, uh, just let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Thanks. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to the office. Um, it's same office. Uh, I haven't got the new one built, but uh, every time I tried to film out in my in, on my porch, it just new things happen, whether or not it be gunfire from people hunting or just target practice, I don't know. Just gunfire, uh, planes flying overhead, uh, lighting problems, all that stuff. I just decided, you know what, we'll just come back inside. Um, and I'll do the video standing up. See, you guys, you guys never see the top of my shelves here. You guys usually see down here. See, there's the, there's Beard's, the picture Beard's daughter drew me. Yeah, of Bev. Anyways, so today this is a whole brand new series. Hopefully, the reason why I didn't continue on with my favorite horror content series is because I was having the issues with filming outside, then I ended up in the hospital. That's a whole other story. Maybe I'll talk about it in a video soon. I don't know. But uh, today we are beginning, well, I started this about two months ago, but my chronological read-through of Clive Barker's books, starting with The Damnation Game. This is an old, beat-up copy. Um, in fact, it is someone wrote with marker all throughout it. There's crayon in it. So I'm guessing a kid got a hold of it. That's the only thing I can think of. Anyways, but uh, th I, I, did, I just got through saying that it, it was like two months ago. It actually took me about three months to read the book. Um, I was trying to do two chapters a day. Um, that wasn't working out. Sometimes I just didn't have the need. There was no... It wasn't necessary for me to pick up the book at all, um, which is unfortunate. And this is the reason why I constantly stall on Clive Barker novels. If you don't know, um, I think that Clive Barker is the best living short story author, period. No one has his, uh, his imagination. Um, no one has his gift for succinct stories, um, even though they are longer short stories when you get into the Books of Blood stuff. Um, even even the super long ones that are more like novella length are really good. It's when he goes over 200 pages, that's when I start having an issue with him. Um, he goes on and on about superfluous details. He goes on and on at the most... I guess it's supposed to be horrific sex, but it's not horrific in a scary way. It's just horrific as it's badly written. I've heard plenty of dudes say that Clive Barker writes great sex scenes. Never heard a woman say that, so if you're a lady and you want to say that down there in the doobly-doo, go right ahead. Um, it's a... I don't know, man. There's something about his long-form work that really bugs me. And this is a perfect example of that. This is one of his shorter um, long-form works. It's only about 350 pages, I think 365. Um, the problem I have with it is... I think the biggest problem is the writing. Um, you will have whole sections of absolutely nothing happening. Not even really character development. Just whole sections of nothing happening but description and maybe some sparse dialogue. And then he'll swoop in with absolutely amazing, horrific images and things. The dog in this one, uh, if you've read the book you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying not to go into spoilers. The dog in this one, the dog scene, uh, it's, it's pretty awful, man. Um, and actually, there's two sections, not dogs, not the multiple dogs. That was upsetting enough as it was. But the the scene with just the one dog and eventually the puppies, um, that's that's what I'm talking about. That was very upsetting. Um, the, the I, I, I guess I want to call him the undead character. Can't remember his name. Uh, there's only actually one character name I remember in this, and that's Mamolian. Mamulian? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but the only reason I remember that is because I remember <laughs> throughout the entire book, I'm sitting there going, I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name. I went and tried to look it up. 
Um, there were several different versions of it, so I just went with Mamoulian, Mamoulian, whatever, um, when I was reading it. And then I finally just started skipping the name altogether. But that's the only reason I remember that one. Everyone else, I don't remember their names. I couldn't care less. I know their attributes. Um, I know there's the heroine princess character. There is the ex-con character. There is the old rich man character. Um, also, I want to ask you guys, is almost every single one or all of Clive Barker's books about someone moving into a new place or coming into a new place? Because Hellbound Heart, The Damnation Game, I'm, I'm just going through the ones that I've read so far, and it seems that that is a, a running theme with his stuff, either new to the area or new to... A house. I don't know. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo how many of his books actually follow that. Um, if I can make it through all of Clive Barker's stuff, I am planning a Clive Barker theories, theorist series. If I can make it through all of them. Right now I'm reading Weave World and it is going okay. I'm liking it more than I like the Damnation game, but that's not saying a whole hell of a lot. Um, a couple of the other scenes I want to talk about here, um, the scene where they're in complete darkness, I thought that was really cool. The ending was fantastic, um, but it took way too long to get there, and there was one thing that was wholly unbelievable. So uh, I'm going to talk about spoilers from here on out in the video. If you've read The Damnation Game, please hang around. If you don't have any want to read it, hang around and listen. Uh, if not, spoilers in three, two, one, spoilers. Um, the part where the undead dude walks... Now, at, earlier in the book, it says that where, from the point where the undead dude starts to the office, not office, the, the uh, apartment complex, or the hotel, sorry, it's the hotel, the Pandemonium, Pandemonium Hotel, from there to there is a 30-minute drive. This undead dude is supposed to die within six hours, okay? He's supposed to completely fall apart. He's already spent at least an hour before he even leaves because he's locked up, you know, whatever. Um, and the uh, the little girl comes up and unlocks him. That was convenient as hell, of course. Um, but then he walks his shambling ass from there all the way to the Pandemonium Hotel and is still in enough control of himself to fight. Um, I thought that was a huge problem. I thought that was a huge issue. Uh, it just seemed, I mean, that was, could have been easily fixed with, you know, giving him only 24 hours to live, or whatever, 12 hours to live, whatever. Or giving him a car, having him steal a car, something, I don't know. Um, but that part just made me, eh, no. Um, so where I'm at with this book, I'm giving it 2.5, rounded up to 3 stars. I didn't absolutely hate it. I did hate certain parts. Um, certain parts just bored me to tears. Uh, the first, I'd say 200 pages of the book are just absolutely boring. There is some great work. There is some great horror in here, but it's sprinkled throughout. Um, I would say there's probably three really graphic horror scenes, um, and then all the rest of it is just superfluous detail. Um, there's a lot of wondering what's going on, and I don't think the payoff really pays off. I don't think there is really a payoff. Even though the ending is epic, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of, not really answers. I wasn't looking for answers. I was looking for something different than what I got. Uh, considering we opened up on such a really cool scene. And um, that's another thing. The book is, opens amazingly, and then it just kind of goes downhill from that until the actual ending of the book. But anyways, so have you read The Damnation Game by Kai Barker? If you have, tell me what you think about it down there in the doobly-doo. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Tell me why you loved it, why you hated it, so we can have the discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!